Hello and welcome to the basement. So recently I was watching a channel called Retrograde Scene. Great channel, I encourage you to go check it out. I'll put a link in the description below. And if you like what you see on this channel, you'll love what he does as well. He looks at all sorts of old gear and fixes stuff and uh, gets his hands dirty, just like we do here. So um, recently he did a video on a Palm Pilot and he fixed a Palm Pilot that was broken. So I've got this one here. As you can see, it's um, a Palm Pilot. And uh, I don't know a whole lot about these. This doesn't seem to have any kind of information on what series it is. All it does is say Palm Pilot US Robotics on it. So um, maybe it's a series one, don't know. Anyway, uh, it doesn't work. So I've got some batteries here. I'll throw the batteries in and nothing comes up. I, th I think that's the on button, but when you push it, nothing happens. So um, hopefully it's just a matter of corroded terminals in the battery compartment um, because we always like an EV fix here in the basement. Don't like to get too technical. So this unit uh, also came with the dock, which is quite handy. So here's the dock, it sits on there. Um, I don't know what the dock's for, presumably to, to sync information to an app on your computer. It uses this old sort of um, serial connector. Let's see if we can get this thing working and figure out what's wrong with it. Okay, so let's clear this stuff out of the way. Let's have a look at this machine here. So it's quite a nifty little machine. I've never used one of these before, but um, I had like a personal organizer back in the day. All I ever used it for was to play solitaire, um, which is pretty much all they're probably good for. Um, you can see the batteries go in there. Um, that's its uh, dock connector. It's got a stylus in the side here, so it just slides out. And then you can use that to do all, all your uh, important note keeping and whatever. So you've got applications, calculator, menu and find. And then here I think is where you do the scribble, this sort of graffiti alphabet they call it, where you have to learn how to write on the device so that the device knows what you're writing. Uh, this here is the backlight button and I believe it's also the on button. So let's just double check. It's not going to just turn on and work. So we'll put the batteries back in. and push that button in and nothing happens at all. There's nothing on the screen there. Okay, so I guess we're gonna to have to take it apart and see if we can find out why it's not getting any power. Oh, wait a sec. Uh, it's just come on. Well, uh, this is gonna be a quick video. I guess it works after all. Uh, that's fine. Well, there you go. Uh, I guess we'll have a look around the Palm Pilot. So up here we've got the address and here you go, you've got uh, technical support and something else. Um, how do we go back? There we go, a calculator. So one plus one equals two. Looks like that works. Great. Uh, we've got our date book, which is about a calendar, I suppose. So if you um, had this application running on your computer, you'd be using the dock and syncing it, and it would have your calendar in here, and you'd be able to uh, go to your appointments and get everything uh, on time. Of course, this is all before smartphones, so these were quite handy, I suppose. The date here says 97, so that might be sort of the era where these things were being used. Uh, expenses, so you can keep track of your business expenses when you're a high-flying yuppie. Would be the kind of people that would have one of these things. They'd be uh, keeping track of all their business expenses um, when they get back to the office. Giraffe, um, I don't know what this is. To score, write the graffiti strokes of the characters as they drop down from the... So it looks like some sort of uh, game where you learn how to play graffiti. Let's try that, start game. Uh, what is that? Oh, do, do it down here. No. It's an I. So 
So what's an eye? Top down. Oh, it's turned off. Uh, no, don't erase all data. Interesting. There might be something wrong with this. Um, there may be something loose in the power supply, uh, which is why it's turning on and off like it is. So let's try that game again. Start game. E. What's the graffiti for E? Ah. Got it. All right, the graffiti for Y um, is that there. Yeah, this is gonna, this is a boring game. Okay, we've got hot sync, which would be to sync to your computer app. We've got mail. So we've got a, a welcome from US Robotics. Hey, welcome, thanks for buying a Palm Pilot. Um, you're amazing, woohoo, okay. Memo pad. All right, so there's some more instructions. It's quite well thought out, and um, I'm, you know, when you bought one of these new, uh, it's new technology. No one would know how to use it, so it's a good idea that they've got these little memos and these little applications and games to help you learn how to use the uh, technology. Uh, memory used. All right, okay. It's the memory manager. Uh, preferences. All right, uh, security. Okay, so you could have private records by the looks of it and put us, uh, you're gonna assign a password to them so that um, if somebody gets hold of your Palm Pilot, they can't see all your secret documents. And a to-do list. What are we gonna do? Send in our Palm Pilot registration card. But as far as games go, I was hoping they would have Solitaire because uh, really, that's all you want to play on these things. Um, and they don't seem to have it. The giraffe game is, is a letdown. I'm not going to lie there. Um, but otherwise, it looks like we've fixed it simply by pushing that button a bit harder. I did notice when I put it down harder, it, it sort of stopped working. There we go, just like that. So let's have a look at that. I'm assuming that something in here uh, is corroded and not working correctly. So I'll give it a clean up and um, I might take the back off and we'll have a look inside just to check there's no corrosion and nothing loose, which is why it's coming on and off. sure if you can see that but on these springs here there's a lot of black uh, corrosion on this one here and it may be that the uh, power is not getting through properly it's interrupting the circuit every time you bump it so I'll give that a bit of a clean maybe um, with a bit of sandpaper just to get that corrosion off and we'll throw the batteries in and shake it around and see if it turns off again Okay, while we're in here, let's have a look at um, what's going on. There's a, a central processor here, Dragon Ball. Not that Dragon Ball, but uh, it seems to be the brand of processor. It's a Motorola. I'm pretty sure they use these across the whole range of Palm Pilots. Now this is interesting here. There's actually a removable chip here. Uh, US Robotics Palm Computing. So what happens if we pull these tabs back? And it pops out like a memory chip. Um, I'm not exactly sure what that is. It's probably just some form of solid state storage. Uh, if you're watching this video for some sort of information regarding these machines, I 
apologize you have come to the wrong place um, I generally don't know what I'm doing nor do I really know what I'm talking about if you want to know what you're doing and what someone is talking about go check out retrograde scenes channel and uh, he'll explain what all this stuff is but uh, as for me uh, I just like having a plane trying to fix stuff this here is I believe a speaker and that was sort of glued into the back of this case here um, so yeah I've sanded off this piece here it's still a little bit black but I'm hoping it's going to make a better connection so I'll throw it back together and put the batteries in and then I'll shake it around and see if it turns off again or stays on. Okay, so for some reason, every time I put the case back on and put the battery in, the screen goes weird. Uh, pull it off and the screen's fine. Um, so I'm not quite sure what's going on. And then of course, the last time I pulled it off, I managed to dislodge the speaker wire. So just fix that. And uh, let's put the batteries in, see if it works. And while it's working, I'll put the back on and just see if it stays working or it goes all corrupted again. Uh, I'm not sure what's actually the issue. Maybe it's this here is being pushed down, this memory chip um, or something's not quite right. But uh, let's just try it again. So battery's in. And you can see it's working. So while it's working, let's carefully put the back on and see if it stays working. I'll try not to break these speaker wires again. Okay, so that still looks like it's working. I'll do the screws up and we'll know for sure if it's going to work. Okay, screws on. Um, I've pinched the wire here. So <laughs> we'll pull the back off again. Ah, retrograde scene, man, it looks so easy. I thought this would be a nice quick video where we could just fix a bit of corrosion and get this thing going. And uh, the, the annoying thing is that these old devices, they have no useful purpose. The only useful purpose it has is for me to be able to make a video about it, really. So let's push those wires in there. Okay, looks like it's working. The screen's lighter now too. That's not my stylus, where's my stylus? Here it is. The screen's um, lighter. It had sort of a dark color to it before, um, but it's looking like it should look now. Is our targets right so let's go back to our applications so we're working as it was before but remember when I banged it on the bench it um, it turned off uh, and of course now that I've stretched these springs out I can't close the door because they're getting trapped in between the door and the case so hopefully I can push these down while I'm closing the door got it Screen's working. And it's surviving the drop test. So, uh, a lot to say it's fixed and a lot to say it's working. I'm not quite sure how do you, there we go. It turns the screen on and off. And we've got a battery here, got our applications menu. 
Oh, I can hear the sound now as well. I must have had it turned down before. Ah, oh, that dial's not sound at all. That, di- <laughs> that dial's contrast. That's why the screen looked so dark before, because I was playing with that dial. Ah, you see, if I'd only watched Retrograde Scenes video closer, I would have known all this stuff. So again, uh, if you're looking at one of these machines and you're looking to fix it, go check his channel out. He'll do a much better job than me. But they are a fun old thing, uh, fun to play around with, entirely useless. But um, maybe in a future video, we'll look at connecting it with a computer and um, syncing some data. Uh, it's probably irrelevant again, but uh, might be a fun thing to try. So that's been a fun little look at the Palm Pilot. We pulled it apart, had a little fiddle around with it. Um, I think we fixed it, I think we broke it, and I think we fixed it again. And anyway, it's working now, and I can drop it, and it's still working. So. That's a good result, uh, nothing too major, I think just some corrosion on that um, battery terminal. Again, irrelevant technology, but uh, fun to play with, just like all of the technology that we have here in the basement. Uh, so stay tuned, we've got some more good stuff coming up soon. You've been in the basement, have a good day.